I, I do think that when I first thought I heard about this movie, the fact that it's, it's a bachelor party set in Vegas, which has been done before, it's from the two writers responsible for Four Christmases and for, uh, for also for the most recent, what was the other movie they did? I'm going to blank. Uh, oh yeah, Ghost Girls, of Girls of Girlfriends Past. Yeah, they're two very, very bad movies. And then Todd himself had sort of struggled with, with School for Scoundrels. I don't know whether there was any re kind of like reluctance on your part to think this will work or whether the script completely sold you. Um, well, I really liked Old School. I thought that was a really amazing movie. And it, it, I rewatched it recently and it's really great. I loved it. And I, I was excited to work with him. I think he's really talented. And I thought the script was really interesting. And um, I thought the character was really fun. So I was really excited about it. I know that Todd had, had mentioned the fact that he had a friend who, who had a girlfriend who was, who was a stripper and there was that sort of great sort of attitude that she just had a really kind of bright outlook on life and it was all pretty cool and so I'm guessing there wasn't really a huge amount of, of research needed. You just sort of knew that this is the attitude of this person and this is how... Well, I lived as a stripper for 10 years to play this it. role. Right. It took a lot of <laughs> method acting. <laughs> but that notion, you're, I can't believe that you know, you're, you're in your late 30s, I think 38, 39, whatever. Why just, is everyone saying my age? If I was a guy, would you say it? It kills me though, but you, are so, you, are, you look so incredible. Like you could pass as the, like the 18-year-old au pair from Sweden. You look amazing. And I just think whether that's something that you've just been blessed or whether it's a huge amount of hard work. I know it's very hard for Thank me to for maintain that. that's beauty. Thank you for saying that. But is it, is it hard work or is it just a, a, a sort of a, you're blessed with great DNA? God, I don't know. I mean, uh, thanks for saying that. Thir 40's a new 30. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but the notion too that, that Jade isn't a, a million miles away from Roller Girl in the way and, this, uh, and Felicity Shagwell and various different characters you've played have this sort of this uh, ability like me to use your sexuality and I don't know whether there's a kind of you just feel an affinity and an easiness about that or whether you kind of find there's a, it's, it's a, there's a humour in it or, or what it is that draws you to these kind of for, for a lot of actors it would be extreme roles almost um, I guess I could just find them more interesting and I just think you know sexuality is really interesting and um, I do think that there's a lot of funny things about sex so I think it's a really great subject matter for humour the one thing that I was well, looking into your to your history, and I know your your parents, uh, Thomas and uh, Joan or James and Joan, the idea they they gave you a, a strict Catholic upbringing. I think that would explain an awful lot, really, wouldn't it? Because I, I do feel that there's a huge amount of um, frustration comes with that, uh, having grown up in Ireland. I, I know, and that sort of feeling of of wanting to explore the dark sides or, or get away from that sort of repression. I don't know if that's the uh, kind of where it comes from for you, for that desire to go to Hollywood and live a life. Well, I mean, um, I think there's a dark side in any sort of job, you know, I mean, Hollywood, you, you could find a dark side anywhere. I guess uh, I've been trying to just live my life in a very positive way. So hopefully, no matter how I was brought up, I try to, you know, be a good person and try to, you know, I, the things I do, I don't do them really to be rebellious. I do them because I think they're fun. And, and that attraction to, 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 to be an actress, to go to Hollywood, was that, I don't know if there was a, a moment that that became obvious to you or, or there's a reason behind it because I know it's a dream of most teenagers to be, you know, be a star and to go to Hollywood or go wherever and, and, and become a star. Was there a certain kind of motivation for you? Was there a certain point that you realised, actually that's the life I want? Um, yeah, I guess when I was a kid, I just, I liked to play games and pretend I was someone else. And then, like, when I was a teenager, I was really awkward. So I thought, oh, I'm going to, I want to grow up and be an actress. And, you know, I don't know. I, I really had this strong fantasy in my head. And luckily, I got started working when I, when I was in high school. So that was amazing. And then I earned enough money to su support myself. So that was amazing. Uh, I did speak to you earlier, and you mentioned the fact that, you know, you didn't have a dress sense when you were a teenager, and, and that sort of awkwardness was there and all that. I mean, was there a was there a day that it suddenly dawned on you, like looking in the mirror and going, "Holy crap, I'm really hot. I can use this," <laughs> or whether it was just a, a gradual thing that sort of uh, happened to you? Um, I think it was. <laughs> I don't know. That's a funny question. Um, yeah, I guess I had a moment where I was like, "Maybe I look good." I don't know. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, it's hard when you look at yourself, you know, people tell you you look good, but when you look at yourself, you're like, does this look good? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I guess I, it took me a while to, I feel like it took me into like my like late 20s to sort of really feel like, feel good. I, I hope you do realize that all those smarts and, and that talent as an actress and the beauty 
all come from your Irish roots, just so you know that, in case you're ever <laughs> curious to wh where it came from. Okay. And it's, 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 you, you've told me, I think it's, it's Cork, somewhere in Cork, but you, right. maybe, maybe you're not sure it's a big lump of land, Cork. It's a big lump of land. I don't have any more specific. I should have probably, you know. Yeah, because you could own a castle down there you don't know about. There could be some sort of grain castle. or That could be cool. Is it your mom's side or your dad's side, or is it both? Um, my dad is 100% Irish, and my mom's dad is Irish, but her mom is uh, Scottish and German. Right. So I'm three quarters Irish. Rock and roll. Well, you do know that's where it all comes from now. It's just the Irish <laughs> But I do look more like my mom, who looks like her mom, who's actually the one that's Scottish and German. Still, but I feel sexiness, more much more the akin to the Ireland. The when I'm here, I just feel good. That's the right answer. Yeah. And Rock Germany, and ugh, boring. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Germany. Cool. I'll be giving the friendly finger. Okay. Very nice to talk to you. All right. Nice to talk to <laughs> you. Cheers, kid. And you know, that's a shame that you just have so little time, but anyway, I'm sure it's uh, at least you get to be here for <laughs> Babadab.